Hi, I'm Vibreen Samuels and welcome back to another episode of Soul Stirring Astrology where I give you my textured take on the world of astrology. Well, I'm moving through this mini series to do with rising signs and today I bring you Virgo. So in your previous life as you were coming to the end of it and you were having these deathbed reflections, you were thinking about the quality and the tone of your life as you had just lived it. Did they live up to your expectations? Invariably they didn't and hence why you're born into this life. In your previous life you were living a very Piscean, in a very Piscean way, which meant that there was a lot of escapism, not wanting to take responsibility or have commitments or connections to and with other people. There's a sense about retreating from uh, the practicalities of life and living in quite a chaotic way. So it may have presented nirvana in your mind, but in terms of your body, your health may have suffered. So what you were lacking in your previous life was a sense of discernment. Now that you're born into this world and this life and you have Virgo rising, what you're called for now is to bring critical reasoning, being discerning, being discriminatory in terms of how you show up in the world, who you engage with, and how you structure your world, whereby you're able to deliver practical, meaningful service to yourself and to other people. That's going to be really, really important to you because what you're seeking is to quash this sense of chaos that you lived with in your previous life. And what you want to do is now to bring order into this world. You have your MC and it's either going to be Taurian or Geminian in the 10th house. Now, when we're dealing with Taurus on the MC, we're dealing with two earth signs. You've got Virgo ascendant, you have Taurus on the MC. So there's a great sense of being grounded and practical. So whatever career you go into, you're seeking a sense of safety and protection. There's a sense of you being quite materialistic because we're dealing with Taurus here, which is about gathering material uh, possessions and assets because that's going to give you a sense of security. The types of careers you could be drawn to could be around food production, health and well-being, dietetics. And the reason for this is because you've got Virgo, which is very much about health, and you've got Taurus, which is concerned with the body. If you're Gemini on the MC, you have Mercury that rules the 10th house and you also have Mercury that rules Virgo. So here, communication, any sort of um, job or professional career, how you want to be seen in the world is your ability to communicate effectively. And so anything to do with communication, it could be journalism, broadcasting, writing, you could be a food writer, you might be a medical researcher because you've got Virgo there. Virgo is very much into the detail, you know, wanting to piece everything together. So it's pulling on your mental faculties and using them in a very productive way. In terms of your business partner or your personal intimate partner, you could be attracted to someone who is Taurian, Geminian and Piscean. The reason for this with Pisces, there is this deep sense of uh, in, uh, inspiration and compassion. So you're wanting a partner that can be compassionate to you, but also show that to other people. With Gemini, definitely a communicator, somebody who's able to engage with you, who's able to support your ideas. And with Taurus there, somebody who um, provides a safe container for you, your ideas and what it is that you want to launch and bring into the world. Now, what if you don't know whether you are Virgo rising? Well, you need to look at some of the things that you do first thing in the morning. Are you somebody, as you wake up, you're concerned about your job or your career or something to do with work that's been bugging you, so you wake up trying to work out a solution to it? Are you somebody that's quite orderly, so you like to have your things ordered and laid out in terms of your clothes, what you're going to wear for the day, wanting to make sure that everything is structured and is, and is in its place? Or you could be an animal lover. So here you're spending time with your animal because it gives you a sense of solace where you're able to demonstrate meaningful service in terms of protecting your animal. Any of these things will give you an indication that you may be Virgo rising. And the key lesson for you here is living into this world with discernment, bringing your critical faculties, 
but providing meaningful service, doing something where it's a labour of love for yourself, but also what you bring into the world. And what you want to do is to infuse it with your personal values, with your imagination and with your inspiration. So that's it in terms of uh, Virgo rising. If it resonates with you or not, I'd love to hear your comments. Put it in the comment box below. If you would like an astrological consultation with me, or if you're interested in joining me on a mini astrological retreat, I haven't actually worked out or decided on the destination at the moment. I'm just canvassing views in terms of who may be interested. It could be here in London or Europe. As I said, I'm undecided. But uh, the, the whole point of the, the retreat is to engage with you, teach you how to read your own charts, look at the key issues that are coming up for you in the year to come, and also helping you to craft a powerful narrative that enables you to live authentically and soulfully in this life. If any of that appeals to you, and also if you are a decision maker or you have the ear of a decision maker who's interested and is really progressive in terms of bringing astrology into the workplace, get in touch with me at bybreensamuels at googlemail.com. So that's it. Uh, look forward to connecting with you again in the next day or so where I will be bringing Libra Rising. So until then, bye bye.